Patrick Murphy with Agriculture Television, and today we are in Cody, Wyoming for the July 4th celebration of the rodeo, and today we're talking with Paige Nicholson. Now Paige, last year you were here as Miss Shorty, Mississippi. You went down to Las Vegas in December and participated in the Miss Rodeo America pageant. Tell us what that experience is like. You know, the Miss Rodeo America pageant was my favorite part of my reign so far. Just hanging out with the other girls and being in that contest, it's so glamorous in the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, and it's the most amazing week of competition I've ever experienced. So, how would you, ex how would you describe your six months thus far of Miss Rodeo America traveling the world and representing the sport of rodeo? It's been so busy, but so much fun. Actually, the judges at the pageant asked me if I thought being Miss Rodeo America would be a job or an honor. And I told them then that I knew it would be a job, but I, I really wanted it. And then I thought of the pageant as a job interview. But I've since changed that answer, and I've realized what an honor being Miss Rodeo America is. So what does it mean to be in Cody for the July 4th Rodeo? What does that mean to you as Miss Rodeo America? I've looked forward to Cody this whole year. I had such a good time last year as Miss Rodeo Mississippi, and I love all the tourists in this town. Most of the people who watch the Cody Stampede are seeing Rodeo for the first time, and that's so inspiring for me, and I love those fans the most, the ones that are first falling in love with the sport of Rodeo. So after July 4th, your travels will continue. So what are your next few events down the road until the end of the year? The next thing I have coming up is the daddy of them all, Cheyenne Frontier Days. <laughs> so I can't wait to get there and, and be part of that, the largest rodeo in North America. Yes, Frontier Days is a great event. Uh, so after Frontier Days, then give us a couple more highlights of what 2014 has in store for you. Well, they moved the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame inductions this year to my birthday weekend. <laughs> so that was a nice surprise. And that's where I'll go the first weekend of August. And then I'll continue on to a rodeo in Montana, which is really good because I haven't been to a Montana Pro Rodeo before. Well, best of luck to you and enjoy the rest of your year as Miss Rodeo America. Thank you so much. Thank you. Patrick Murphy once again for Agriculture Television at the July 4 Stampede Celebration in Cody, Wyoming. Now we're speaking with Desiree Bridges, Miss Rodeo Wyoming 2014. Desiree, halfway through your reign as Miss Rodeo Wyoming, what's it feel like to be in Cody for July 4th? Well, this is the all-American sport of rodeo in the rodeo capital of the world, Cody, Wyoming, for July 4th. So what better place to be than here? Now, as you proceed through the year, you're going to be going down to Las Vegas come December and competing for Miss Rodeo America. What does that mean to you as Miss Rodeo Wyoming? That just means continuing my love of Western heritage and promoting it throughout agriculture, rodeo, and the United States. So after July 4th is over with, you're going to move on down the road to a few more rodeos. Give us an idea of where your travels are going to take you. Oh my goodness. Well, the rest of the summer, I'm pretty much stuck in Wyoming because we're so blessed to have so many awesome rodeos. So next weekend, I hit up Sheridan for Sheridan Wyo, and then Laramie Jubilee Days, Cheyenne Frontier Days, Red Desert Roundup. I mean, there's countless I can't even remember. So are you tired of traveling yet? Of course not. This great state is so beautiful, and every time I travel somewhere new, I meet the greatest people, and the rodeos are always so welcoming. So it's, it's, I never look back. Well, Desiree, it's been a pleasure interviewing you today and speaking with you at the 4th of July celebration in Cody. Thank you so much, Patrick. Thank you. Patrick Murphy with Agriculture Television. And we have a unique and special treat at the 4th of July celebration here in Cody, Wyoming. We're speaking with Danica Boland, who is the Warwick Rodeo Queen Australia from Queensland. Yes. So, Danica... Cody, Wyoming. Give us a little story. Why are you here? How'd you get here? How'd you get involved with Cody? Yes, so I, um, I won the rodeo title of Warwick Rodeo Queen, which is the most famous and biggest rodeo of Australia. So we decided to um, advertise our rodeo and come to Cody and experience the life and rodeo life that you guys live here. And I'm going to Cheyenne, Co uh, Cheyenne Frontier Days as well, so it'll be really exciting. So what other rodeos besides Cheyenne Frontier Days and here in Cody, what other ones have you been attending in the States and will continue to go to th throughout this year? Which ones? Yes, yeah, so I started here in Cody um, and then I head down to Sheridan for the rodeo there and then we travel down to Cheyenne and finish up at Cheyenne. So are there, what, are there any major differences between rodeos you have down in Australia and what are here in the States? Are there any major differences or is it pretty much the same? Um, it's very similar to Australia. Um, it's, it's a lot bigger over here than it is in Australia, but our radios are, are getting there. I'm, I'm here to promote the sport in Australia and, and help make it bigger and better. Well, we thank you so much for coming to Cody. Thank you. And celebrating our 4th of July with us, and we hope you enjoy your time here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Ah, stuffed it up. Patrick Murphy with Agriculture Television. 
at the 4th of July celebration in Cody, Wyoming for their stampede. And today we have the honor and the privilege of speaking with Alex Topia, Miss Rodeo New Mexico. Yes, sir. So how does it feel to be in Wyoming? It's amazing. It's been such a wonderful opportunity. I had the chance to drive from Jackson down to Cody and go through the park. So really incredible views. So before coming to Cody, where have you been? I went to Florida, I've been to Denver, Dallas, a couple times in Oklahoma, and I've been to Arizona, and of course, all over New Mexico. So after Cody, after this weekend, what's the next couple stops? Well, I'm very excited. I get to go to the Snake, Snake River Stampede in Idaho, and then I'll go down to Cheyenne, Wyoming. What is the most exciting part about being Miss Rodeo New Mexico? Well, that's kind of a hard question because there's so many, so many great things. You get a chance to meet amazing people all over the place. But I've really grown a lot of appreciation for the beauty across this country because you just get to come to places like Cody, Wyoming and just see these beautiful backdrops for these amazing rodeos. So that's really awesome. So when you're in the arena doing your thing, <laughs> what is the biggest charge you get out of that? Explain that. How does that make you feel? When people start cheering for you, I think is the coolest thing. When you're halfway across the country and somebody from New Mexico happens to be in the grandstands and they cheer for New Mexico, that's really an amazing feeling. Well, Alex, we thank you so much for coming to Cody this year Great. and for helping us celebrate the 4th of July here in Cody. And we wish you the best of luck throughout the year. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Patrick Murphy for Agriculture Television. And today at the 4th of July celebration in Cody, Wyoming, we had the pleasure of speaking with Morgan Flintner. Miss Cody Stampede. Sorry. Now, it's the 4th of July, it's Cody, Wyoming, it's rodeo. What does that mean to Morgan? It is a great time. This is I, an experience I've been looking forward to since I started being the Cody Stampede Senior Princess in 2010. So it's something I've really been wor working forward to, and to be the queen today is awesome. So, the rodeo here in Cody, Cody is known for rodeo. This is what this town is known for. So when you're in that arena, you're on that horse, what kind of a thrill, what kind of a charge does that give you? Oh my gosh, it's like electricity pulsing through your body. It's when you and your horse are flying around that ring and you're one, and I know my mare loves to fly around that <laughs> arena because we do it so often, but looking up at the crowd and the smiling faces and when they cheer when you go around the arena and you can, when people come up afterward and compliment you on your riding, it's, it's amazing. It's a once in a lifetime experience. Now because you're Miss Cody Stampede for 2014, you're going to be showing up in Douglas here in about a month and competing for Miss Rodeo Wyoming in 2015. Yes, sir. Okay. That's the next step in this progression. So how does that make you feel? What are your plans? How do you, how will you go about doing that? How will you prepare for that? Oh, it's been a lot of studying. I have like five or six binders full of knowledge that I go over all the time. Um, constantly reading the news, talking about public opinion, politics riding my horse, studying, modeling, and dancing even. And I mean, if I can get over both my big left feet, that'd be the best part. <laughs> so when you're down at Douglas and when you're going through the pageant, kind of give us a sense of what you're expecting there. What do you look, what, what, what do you think the pageant's going to be like? I think it's going to be an amazing opportunity to meet some great friends, first of all. I'm excited for the excuse me, four other girls I'm running with. I'm also excited it'll be an experience that's something I can cherish later on down the road and I can use later on in life for job experiences. And it's also something that I, since I've been a little girl, my mom has made me go with her to the Miss Rodeo Wyoming pageant. So it's something I'm familiar with in terms of watching the horsemanship, watching the girls go around the ring, watching them shop around the little kids out of the mud and busting, which is one of my favorite parts actually. Well, Morgan, we look forward to speaking with you in Douglas during the pageant, and of course, at the coronation, when you're there, and see if you make it to Miss Rodeo in 2015. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Morgan. Patrick Murphy with Hacker College Television, and today, at the 4th of July celebration in Cody, Wyoming, we're speaking with Greer Barney, who is the Miss Red Desert Roundup Queen. Yes. Okay. Explain that, because normally we're used to hearing about queens from a county or a state title. So explain your title a little bit to us. Okay, well, my title was actually recently changed from Sweetwater County um, to Queen to Red Desert Roundup Rodeo Queen. Red Desert Roundup Rodeo Queen is the main rodeo that we have in Sweetwater County in Rock Springs, Wyoming. And um, the committee just decided that they wanted to change it to their name, so... <laughs> so, so even though the title's changed... The, the 
the title is still significant. So it's yes. it's, just, it's just a change in title. Yes. So, now you're competing for Miss Rodeo Women 2015. Yes. Next month. Yes. So how does that make you feel? I'm extremely excited. I am looking very forward to the new experience and um, meeting everybody, new people, and just extremely, extremely excited. So how are you preparing for the pageant come this August? I am studying and studying and studying. Um, I ride my horses every night. I also am working full time during the day, but at night I'm going home and studying and just practicing speeches and many other things. So. So is there any one particular area or topic that you're putting more emphasis on or is it you just across the board just work on everything? Just across the board on everything. Um, you know, it's always good to look up everything and anything new. Um, luckily, I work, like I said, I work, work for a local veterinarian in Rock Springs, so I am able to know at least the health um, problems as far as animals and current events on animals and stuff like that. So more of on the rodeo side, I'm looking more on study. So. Oh, very good. And Agriculture Television, hopefully, will be down in Douglas. So we will yes. see you at State Fair. Yes. So best of luck, Greer. Thank you Thank so you. much. Patrick Murphy with Agriculture Television at the 4th of July celebration in Cody, Wyoming. And right now we had the pleasure of speaking with Miss Cody Stampede Lady and Lady, Nikki Seckman. Yes, sir. Nikki. Lady and Lady. Some of our viewers may not know what that title means, so give us a little bit of explanation. All right, so our Lady in Waiting program means that we have a little bit of time where we're not actually Miss Cody Stampede, so we get to spend time with our queen and just learn what we're doing, learn the ropes, um, still get to ride in the rodeos and travel around, but really just a time to prepare ourselves for our reign. So is this the next step in going to Miss Cody Stampede now? Yes, yes, it is. I'll be Miss Cody Stampede next year, so this is the first step in that. So when you are going to be making that transition to Miss Cody Stampede, what does that mean to you? What, is it, what, what, what does that have significance in your life? Um, right now, it's just a huge learning experience. I'm trying to ask a lot of questions and just figure out what I need to do to be the best queen possible. And once you've made Miss Cody Stampede, then you'll be looking forward to going down to Douglas doing the state fair. What does that next step mean? Because you're progressing up the ladder. What does that next step mean to you? Yeah, that is a huge dream of mine. Ever since I was a little girl, I went to Vegas and saw all the, all the state queens there, and I just knew that that's where I wanted to be and where I wanted to try and get to. So, yes. Well, Nikki, we thank you for talking to Aircraft Television, yes. and hopefully to see you next year at Miss Cody Stampede. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.